Welcome back everyone to another Brian's Diecast Thailand. And today we're working with these two. We've got a, a Matchbox Series 3 Mercedes Benz Bins Ambulance. Made in England by Lesney and it's a super fast. Now Everything appears to be there. There doesn't appear to be any cracks or anything in the plastic window section. Um, but the poor old girl is suffering from the old die-cast corrosion. All down this side here, um, on the roof there, and, and all down the back. But one lucky thing about this is it's still got the back door intact, which is a bonus, because a lot of times that is, well, long gone. So that's a Bins Ambulance, series number three, made in England by Lesney, and it's a super fast. And then we've got this. This is another Matchbox series number 42. And it's the Studi Baker Lark Wagoneer. That's made in England by Lesney. And that's on regular wheels, so that's a quite an old girl. As you can see, someone's tried to paint it brown. There is lots of paint missing. But here again there uh, seems to be everything intact. It's got the sliding roof section, where sometimes that is usually long, long gone. It has got some damage to the back pillar section here. It's bent, just there. And half the uh, toe itch is missing. So that needs to be fixed very carefully. Uh, now, this Judy Baker Lark was very kindly sent in to me by Rick down there in good old US of A. Rick has a YouTube channel called TCAT Antiques and Collectibles. So if you haven't already, go check him out. So anyway, let's get him off the turntable and let's have a closer look at him. So I'll catch you then. Right, let's have a look what we're dealing with. We've got the uh, Studebaker Lark Wagoneer. I won't try and show you the base because I can hardly read it. Anyway, I've already drilled this out. There's two posts, one at the back and one at the front. So let's get it apart. Let's have a look. There we go. Look how those fall apart. Interior. Very dirty. Need some hot soapy water. Get all that cleaned up. The back toe itch is broken off, so I might just snip that off. I won't lose any sleep over that. Body here. As we can see at the back here, it has got damage to that back pillar there, it's bent in, so that needs fixing, then that can go in the caustic soda. Now the wheels here, I have done some work to these wheels and axles because they were rusted solid, so I've managed to free them up, so what we'll do, we'll just, well I've done the back ones already, they'll just come straight off, and we'll just file down the little ends on there, get them wheels off, get all that cleaned up, and the window section, it has got a little bit of brown paint here and there on it, so we'll, we'll try and get that off, we'll probably put that in some Dettol, soften up the paint, and get that off, that's that, and then the sliding roof section, now I thought that was plastic, but I'm wrong, it's metal. So that can go in caustic soda and we'll strip that. I thought that was plastic. So there you go. So there's that. 
So let's come along to the. I'll just move this around a little bit. So the Benzem ambulance. Same thing, I've already drilled that apart. One rivet at the front, two little ones at the back. There's no point showing you to read it because I can hardly read it myself. So, I'm trying to work over the camera here, which is very hard for me. But we'll get it apart if we can. Come on, girl. The, the front grill on these are. Uh, well, I have to get. The front grill on these are attached to the uh, the base. It makes them a little bit difficult to get them off. There we go. There we go. Typical super fast suspension there. So we can pop them wheels right off. And the base, well, I'll just see if I can polish all that up. Leave that plastic suspension in, in sitch. Um, now the interior, get that out if we can. So I should have rehearsed this. Should have rehearsed this, shouldn't I? I think it has to go down and out. So look, she's very tight. She obviously, it's been in there for years. It should come out gently, does it? We might have to play with that off camera. She don't want to come out, don't want to break. Uh, it should just pull out. It's probably just a tight fit. Nah, I'm not going to force it. I'll do this. Off camera, get that out. And off, obviously the window section, the little beacon there, um, that's faded, the blue on it, so we might have to do something with that as well. I don't want to break this, so and look at all the dirt inside too. Ooh, Lee, there she comes. She's out. Very grubby. Look at that, filthy. Window section. I think they're riveted in, yes they are, because they're riveted in because they, they act like a spring on the back for the back door. So yeah, I have to carefully get that and all this dirt in there. Whee, well, I don't know where that's come from. Okay, well I'll get them all stripped down, get this body in caustic soda, clean up all the parts and we'll carry on. So catch ya. Right, here's a little reminder of what we started off with. We've got the Mercedes-Benz Bins Ambulance. Everything's there. There's no damage to the plastic window section. But the poor old girl is suffering from a lot of die-cast rot, corrosion. And we've got the Studebaker Lark. Wagoneer. Someone has tried to paint it brown. There is lots and lots of paint missing off that one. <coughs> but then again, everything's there. The sliding roof's there. There doesn't appear to be any cracks in the plastic window section. So, let's have a look what we ended up with. Right, here's what we've ended up with. This Judy Baker Lark Wagoneer. Well, we stripped all the paint off that and all on the top of the roof at the front section there was all corroded. So we had to put some epoxy resin filler in there. Uh, came up rather good pleased. Um, cleaned up the interior, cleaned up the plastic window section, 
um, painted the base silver and painted the body blue that is actually Ford tractor blue and the sliding roof is sky blue <coughs> excuse me <coughs> detailed the door handles um, the front little um, marker light at the front there petrol cap the back brake lights and indicator lights and then that little roundy thing in the middle I think that's the tailgate release and the uh, winder for the uh, rear window I did leave the tow hitch on even though it was broken it looks okay I have got one somewhere in my spare parts box but do you think I could find it <coughs> and the Mercedes Bins Ambulance well when we stripped the paint off that that was in a terrible mess I don't know if you remember the back on the roof here was all corroded it was that badly corroded there was a, a hole all the way through so we, we filled all that up it's not 100% but it's 100% better than what it was before uh, what to do with that? Well, we cleaned up the interior, cleaned the window section, we put a new red cross on it, cleaned up the wheels, repainted the uh, silver on the wheels, painted the tyres black, door handles, the little beacon on the top, I did put a little bit of blue ink on there because it was nearly white, um, and then this little beacon thing here at the front I put a little bit of blue on there um, back number plate and the back brake lights so I'm really pleased the way they came out let me know what you think in the comments and I'd like to thank all my subscribers sticking with me it means a lot to me I'd like to thank Richie again for sending in that Studi Baker light Wagoneer to me all the way from the USA there don't forget his channel is TCAT Antiques and Collectibles so yeah I'm super happy this with the top section slides open really easy I'm very pleased with the outcome of it all right then, that's it for another video. So, I will catch you next time. Bye for now. See you, bye.